black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? It is Taco Tuesday, taco time for a toonie. A toonie in Canadian language is a $2 coin. <laughs> All right, silver on the outside, gold in the middle. Okay, there's a polar bear on it. They came out a long time ago. They're very stupid. Okay, we don't need them. I, I hate them. Toonie. Anyhow, <laughs> Taco Tuesday, uh, we got some hot sauce. We got their mild sauce to pour on the Mexi Fries Deluxe, right? We've seen this before. Cheese, meat, salsa or pico, you might say, sour cream, things of this nature, tater tots. And then we have beef tacos, hard shell, and we got extra sour cream, not extra, but sour cream to add because you guys know I don't play that shit when it comes to paying for sour cream from places for ridiculous amounts of money ridiculous amounts of money okay so i wish i had this in a squeeze bottle but i was honestly just a little too lazy to do that because i uh i wanted to get to these while they're still kind of hot right because I had to cruise them home in the Schwip. But uh, very excited, very starving. Have not eaten today. And today was the first day of putting in a, a nine hour inaugural shift at the JOB, right? Because we know that your man's starting a JOB here on top of the other hustles. All right. I'm sorry. I maybe I should have just not prepped this in front of you like this, but I feel like you kind of you kind of want to see it, right? It's kind of nice to see these glorious food porn moments. All right. First things first. I actually really just before I bite that, I really want a nice crispy bite off of this beef taco with a hot sauce drizzle and we go Mm, wow. So perfect. Ow. Taco between the tooth. The hunger is real. I'm going to do this. I kind of want to show you an up close of this. But I don't want these tacos to fall. It's not happening. All right. Had a pretty wild little first day. Uh, somehow got super deep with this customer, this guy that came in. Older, not older, but baby boomer. Definitely like 60-ish probably. So the bomb. He's like chilling in the little waiting area, but my area, but my desk was right there. And we just get to chatting about whatever. And I'm like, yeah, things are a little haywire around here. Also, it's my first day. So I'm just getting used to stuff. He's like, oh yeah, that's cool.
we're chatting and I said like, well, you know, I have other ways of, you know, other hustles and stuff. And I'm just trying to grind to make more money, stuff like that. Right. And he's like, he's like, oh yeah, I, I, I quit that life a, a while ago, a long time or not a long time ago, a while ago. Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, why is that? And he goes, yeah, well, I, I did that for most of my life. And he goes, you wake up and get to be my age one day. You realize you didn't spend enough time with all the people that you, that you loved. And he goes, and then they go and die on you. So, got a hat on, in a mask, you see his eyes, kind of silvery hair, definitely just an old boy, like an old working boy. Tells me that he used to, like, build high-rises, like, work, like, he used to manage a team that built high-rises, like a real working man. And then he like basically just opened up to me about how his son died in a industrial accident in 2019. I was like, oh, so really sorry to hear that, man. He's like, same year, my wife passed from cancer. And he goes, last year, I found my brother up at his camp where, he, where he's like, oh, that's where I'm heading now to go up to the camp. It's like I found my brother hanging in the doorway at camp, killed himself. And then he goes, my other son. who was in Toronto, just died of a a bad shot of heroin. And when he talked about his last, the son, the recent one, he started to well up in his eyes, just above his mask. I felt so bad for the guy. He just seemed so devastated. You can tell that he's lonely. And he's like deeply hurt. And I was just saying, I'm like, oh man, I can't even imagine that. I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. That's crazy. And then we got on the topic of the whole fentanyl epidemic and all that stuff. And how drugs are just taking over lives and stuff like that. So we talked about that. And then he paid up and peaced out. <laughs> So that was just a crazy, like, I just never expected somebody to be so open and forthright, but I don't know. We were just having like a really chill conversation. So not a chill one, but like, I guess he felt comfortable talking to me. As far as the job goes itself, handled myself fine today. It's all pretty straightforward. It's nothing too insane to understand.
a lot of phone calls, a lot of incoming phone calls, you know, note taking. A lot of calling out to like develop those relationships with those other like part plays and stuff that you're going to be talking to a lot to order things into the shop data entry like clerical stuff making up like work tickets and shit like that it's show though like in the lobby there's a, t a tv and he has netflix on it and he's just like He's like, you can just put stuff on the TV if you want this for, for like times where it's not insanely crazy, like just to kind of just have that going. Handling money, payments, billing, da 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 da, -da invoicing, all that stuff. Nothing too crazy, but the, uh, The main thing is, is like the constant fluctuating, ever changing different individuated customer scenarios and how those are progressing and just having to rectify their ever-changing issues like some people are calling in like oh I got my car back and the when it you know it was fixed for x amount of time and now it's doing the thing again and you just have to like make good on stuff and just a lot of communication and having to rectify issues essentially but yeah I mean it's more of a mentally stressful job than anything it's just a lot of so much information coming at you both verbally and then the data like just numbers like with the sheets and everything, just numbers, uh, codes, part numbers, you know, and all the verbiage, all like the technical jargon that applies to vehicles. It's just mentally um, very like taxing that way, but as far as the physicality of the job, I'm just standing, not having to move too crazy far, but pacing around and just using like this touch screen computer, ta -ta 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 -ta, all that. And, uh, you know, there's no, what's really cool about it is having had worked in like kitchens and restaurants, it's like, You're constantly doing so many physical tasks. Replenishing things, bringing things, clearing things, dishes, glassware, cooking and all these different stations. You're zipping around, you're running up and down into the fridge and back. Just all, all that experience that I have. It's just so much multitasking physically of things. This is just all like, mental work but da, 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 da. and there's no like i don't have to stock anything or prep anything or you know <laughs> anything like that it's just there's no cl really cleanup at the end of the day it's just like you know get rid of any junk clean up the desk make it nice throw out some like any garbage stuff things you don't need anymore they have a cleaning service coming at the end of the night that just cleans th the place and stuff like so it's like it's like show up do the mental work, handle that, leave. There's just no like, 
all that other wild, stressful stuff that that's like so taxing on your body and mind, like juggling all those tasks in, in serving and cooking is like, it's both mentally like, whoa, but also physically a ton. But this is just sort of half of that. So I kind of, I like that aspect of it. I've never got to work a job like this. All my jobs that I've usually worked have been very physically demanding. Anyways, a little update, Taco Tuesday, couldn't deny it, cheap tacos, and taco time is the shit. Till the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, and stay true.